Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. They are not happy with me. Oh. Oh. What's up guys, Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! Currently riding Tracky McTrack face here, because we, uh, we kind of had a bit of an issue. Pooper Trooper died! Yeah, so I had to knock out another Fiomia, uh, so we can replace that poor little fella. Uh, that is our second one that I think has died. The first one just went missing, I have no idea where he went. The second one... I don't know, he definitely died. A raptor somehow got into the enclosure, killed him, which is really unfortunate, but it's a Biomia. They're replaceable. That's no biggie at all. So uh, I've given this guy a bunch of berries. I'm going to let him tame out. And while he's doing that, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. I made a few adjustments in here since uh, last episode. As you can see, I propped up some pillars, and they're sort of going to extend up into the, uh, up into the roof when we get the roof in place. Um, and I think they're really cool. I think it kind of... Whoa! All right. Fantastic. This guy here's changed. Tamed. Pooper. Trooper. The second. <laughs> Why not, right? So, I think it kind of like... It, it's a big space, and the pillars just kind of bring it all in a little bit. Fill in fill in the little gaps a little bit. I think it's really cool. And eventually, we can get some, like, I don't know, banners. Like, blue banter... Ba ba the blue banter boy banners around here. I think it'll be really, really cool. And uh, check it out, right? So I told you guys last episode, I wasn't overly happy with the set out that we'd sort of laid everything out. So I went and broke it all, crafted it all again, and placed it all back down. Right now, we've got two forges on the left here. We've got the smithy up against the back. We've got a table next to that with three, uh, what do you call these? Um, things on them. Water and pestle. It's right in front of me. I can read it off the screen. What am I doing? Um, and then, of course, we have the fabricator here. So, um, yeah, things are looking pretty cool. Come out here, little fella. Where are you? Over here. And you can see you can see the stone um, pillars that I placed kind of hanging out the bottom there. Cool. So, perfect Trooper, out here, buddy. Out here. So, the reason that I actually went and started taming this fella here is because today I want to go on a bit of an adventure. I want to try and tame a dinosaur I've never tamed before. Um, and I've kind of been, like, reading into it a little bit. And it seems as though they kind of tame a little bit differently to everything else. They actually eat poo. And uh, the better the poo, the quicker they tame. So I'm trying to, well, basically, I tame this guy here because I want to get large amounts of poop from him. And uh, he's like the, the pooping machine when you think about it. So that's how we're going to go about it. Today, we're going to be going to tame the dung beetle. Hopefully. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. So if you guys do enjoy this video and are enjoying the series, make sure to let me know by punching that thumbs up. Make it rate those thumbs ups. <sighs> Let's get this show underway. So, first thing I want to do, and it's something that I've never crafted before. I want to craft us some, uh, what do you call it? Bug spray. Bug spray? Bug repellent. That one right there. So I've never actually made bug repellent before. So... I don't actually know what the recipe is. I know we need vegetables for it, but that's about all I know. So, it looks like six pelts, two narcotic, four citronel, four rocket carrots. So, we're going to be trying to get one of those for now. We're not, we don't want to go too too crazy with them. So, one will do. Four citronel, two rocket carrots. Oh, and check it out. I probably haven't shown you guys my fully grown garden here. Everything's looking really good. It's got like a lot of fertilizer in it. They've all got about 260, 270,000. Uh, fertilizer, which is amazing. It's, it'll keep it going for a couple days. Um, and I probably didn't show you either that I went and pushed all of this back a bit. So I told you guys I was going to do it because all of this was hanging over the edge here. So basically, yeah, I went and did it. I went and broke them all down, pushed them all back a little bit, and they're all still irrigated, which is really nice. So what we can actually do now is turn this into a greenhouse at some stage. So yeah, it basically just makes it all a little bit more efficient, makes it last a little bit longer, and like it just, it does, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. So what we need is four citronels, so one, two, three, and four. And four rocker carrots, which they're long grass, they're stava roots. We need some of these. So one, two, three, and that's five, but whatever. Cool. So we've got both of those. We're just going to need pelts and narcotics now, and we should be good to go. So I've got a bunch of pelts because um, beavers drop pelts. So we've sort of been collecting them over the course of the, uh, the world, since the world started. It's kind of just been, yeah slowly collecting them and it looks like we've got a bunch of narco berries in here still from like a couple days ago damn they're still there all right just pelts and we're good to go so let's go and craft one of these now the reason that we're crafting one of these is because dung beetles are found in the caves 
And I don't actually know which caves. We have run into them in the small cave nearby. The same one that we went to for um, the other things. What are they called? Those troublesome creatures. Centipedes. But we didn't find any that time. In fact, we've been in there, I think, twice now. And we've only found them once. So I'm kind of unsure whether we're going to come across them or not. But I really hope we are. So let's go on. Dip, 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 blah. Bl duh, dump, dump, dump is the word I'm looking for. Let's go and dump that. Uh, we're gonna go and empty our inventory. Not of that. We need that. We need that. So bug repellent will keep um, that, 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 and we got a bit of poop and a bit of metal. We got a little bit of poop. There's pretty bad poops. Medium size. We want large. We want the good stuff. So we got that. Um, we've got a bit of this stuff. <laughs> it's a bit of that stuff. I don't know. I'm uh, struggling to talk at the moment for some reason, but whatever. So Fiomia. Poopa Troopa, it is time to uh, do your duty and take me some poops. Let's do it. So I think we'll get about 20. I actually don't know what the spoil time on these is. Hopefully they last a little while because if they drop too quickly, we might, we might not actually get where we got to go. Seconds, minutes, hours. Okay, that, that'll be good for three hours. <sighs> Behind all of this fog, there is a cave inside of that cave. Is hopefully our dung beetle. I'm going to try and find that cave. Then find that dung beetle. And hopefully bring him home. It's going to be interesting. That's one word for it. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see how it goes. So, it should be down here. I can barely see where I am. But I'm quite certain the cave is in this general direction. It should be around here somewhere. Any of these corners. It's got to be around here. It's around here. It's around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we're going to perch Hawkeye, hopefully on one of these rocks so that no raptors can get to him. Pretty please, pretty please. You're going to cooperate? In fact, I think we can, we can get him in there. Problem is, last time I was in there, a raptor actually entered the cave and tried to kill me on my way out. So we probably, yeah, it's not safe in there basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So Hawkeye, chill right there, buddy. Chill right there. And hopefully no one gets to you. So here we go! It's dung beetle time. And let me go and crank some gamma on this game. So you guys can see what's going on as well as me. Alright. So, I last time we came in here, well the first time we came in here, there was a dung beetle chilling like literally at the top of the cave. Like it wasn't very far in at all. Oh, this is from the... Have they still got a... Because they tamed some centipedes in here and they couldn't get them out the base. Vic and, Vic and Lachlan. They've still got one in here. They've still got him. Do they have a saddle on him? They don't. Does he have anything on him? Oh, the poor fella. <laughs> He's so stuck down here alone. Okay, so that's all right, I guess. Still looking for some dung beetles, though. Urgh, nothing, nothing. I think this is where we found them last time, around this area. But having a little look ahead, that's one right there. That's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, okay, okay. Let me have a little look. Let me have a little look at him. He's level five. Not a high level, but I don't think that matters a whole lot. So the question is, can I creep up on him? Did I not just hear a snake? Feed him. It's only going to take two pieces. It's only going to take two pieces of feces. I can hear a snake though, and it's scaring me. So we just got to wait till he wants another piece. And we've got this guy tamed. We've got him tamed. It's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. This happened so much faster than I expected it to. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Oh, that snake. I can hear a snake, man. There is a snake somewhere relatively close to us. And I don't like that one bit. We, we didn't even need this bug. Okay, come on, mate. Come on. Whenever you're ready. I've got the poo waiting for you, mate. I got the poo waiting for you. There we go. Yes. Dog beetle is tamed, baby. Dog beetle is tamed. So let's have a little read about the domesticated version. Hopefully we don't die down here while we're doing this. So it eats mostly useless waste, feces, blah, 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 whatever. Domesticated is the fun part I want to read about. Scaribidae makes me think humans have been on this island for a long time. Why else would a creature evolve to be such a perfect pet? Perfect pet. Uh, most tribes jealously protect their scaribidae, scaribidae 
whom are handily tamed with the skilled use of some well-handed feces. These wondrous little organic factories are truly a sustainable, green, eco-friendly source of resources for living off the land. Oil becomes gas, which is generator fuel. Fertilizer means crops, which is human fuel. The Scaribidae can power all aspects of island life. So, if we put poop in this guy's inventory, he will turn it into fertilizer. If we put oil in his inventory, he will turn it into gas. That is so good. Because otherwise, you got to like put it through the little, uh, what do you call it? There's other things. Um, the other, the other thing in which you can use. What are they called? Compost bins. Yeah, compost bins like we've been doing. He is so slow. Come on, mate. Okay, there he goes. I was going to say, he better not walk all the way out of this place like that. All right, come on. Just come up here a little bit. I just want to get him up into a little bit closer to the entrance. Because um, we found him so quickly and got him so tame so quickly. I feel like we should just head a little bit further down. And see if we can find another one, like, really close by. If we can find another one really close by, I'm definitely going to tame it. Because two of these guys sounds like a much better thing than one of them. That's for sure. So can I, can I transfer all of this stuff or what? What? His weight is five? He can carry... Oh, no. He can't carry, like, any weight. So, I'm going to leave that on him there. We need a higher level one. We need to find a higher level. What's... What's going on? What's going on? I heard something. Something's angry. But I haven't even gotten close to anything yet. There's a snake stuck somewhere. There's definitely a snake stuck somewhere, but whatever. We'll leave that snake be. Um, I feel like we should... Uh, I don't really want to fight stuff. Why are we lagging? It's bad time to lag. Bad time to lag. I feel like what we should do is probably... Um, uh, turn around and go back. Or use our bug repellent. Bug repellent would come in handy right now. We leveled up, dude. Damn, son. All right. Well, bug repellent is cheap, so I might as well just eat the stuff. It lasts for five minutes. It lasts for five minutes. So, so work on snakes. No, doesn't work on snakes. Okay, okay. Thought it did. Thought it did. I was wrong. Spiders, I'm pretty sure it works on though. I don't think scorpions get scared of our little bug spray either. That's a little bit disappointing. Come on. There we go. Okay. Any more? We've got spiders. Dog beetle! It's a level one. Not what we're after. We're up for something a little bit higher. And I think I need to go into... Okay, that's a snake. That's a snake. Um, can't find any... Oh, there's a dung beetle right there. There's a dung beetle right there. Okay, please die. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. They are not happy with me. Oh! Oh! So it looks like if you run into them, they will attack you. Oh god, this is bad, man. Please don't fall. Don't, don't fall asleep. Whatever you do, please don't fall asleep. I can't see a thing. Okay, a lot of dung beetles here. What level are they? 17? What level are you, mate? Three. So 17 is the best one that we found so far. And it looks like that might be all of them. This little hazy stuff that's on my screen. This bu bug spray stuff is killing me, man. I guess... We should try and tame this level 17 one. Let's feed him. One more piece and he'll be tamed. Okay, so these won't take too long either. That's really cool. So we get ourselves a level 17 and a level 3. I'll probably leave the level 3 in here. Or is he a level 5? Can't remember. But the level 17 is definitely coming home with us. Hopefully he's got a bit of a better weight. Because the weight is definitely the downside. We're going to want to like just lump a whole lot of crap on him. And then just let them do it. Let them sort of do their work. And, yeah, go about it that way. But, if, if their weight's only five and they can f carry five kilos, then that's a bit pointless. You're not leaving the table until you eat your poop. Pretty please. Pretty please. There we go. Yeah, baby. So, what's he attacking? Me? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Enough of that. All right, let's go, mate. Looks like we're going to have a bit of a... A bit of a bad way to get out of here. In fact, what's this guy's weight? 5.4? It's like no better than what the last one was. 
Okay. So, we got to get Dung Beetle out of here somehow. Without triggering anything along the way. Is he coming? Slowly but surely. What if I just drop that? Are you gonna you gonna run a little bit faster now? Here he goes. All right, so it's gonna be quite an adventure getting out of here. I think. Spider, you better not! Don't touch my beetle! You gonna mess with my beetle as well? I can't even see you. This this what is on my face? Come on, my bug repellent's wearing off soon. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Leave me alone! Come on, Dung Beetle. Let's go, buddy. We're so close. We're so close. Come on, little guy. You're nearly there. You're so close. Okay. You can come with me, too. So we'll bring them both up to the top. Unfortunately, we can only carry one of them home, though, because our RG can only carry one thing at a time. But, uh, are they coming? Why is this one being a little stubborn turd? Come on, little mate. Come on. You can do it. You're so close. This has taken five minutes. I've been at this for the last five minutes. And i got to put up with this white fog in my face every couple seconds. Come on, little dungy. Come on, little dungy. You're so close. It's down there. I don't think it's anything. Come on, mate. Home stretch. It's a home stretch. Note to self. Do not let this guy die. If he dies... This is, like, I, I, I can't go through all of this all over again. No way. It's not going to happen. It can't happen. I can't do this again. I'm about to give up on this thing. I'm about to give up on it. It is such a pain. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just get around this corner and we're going to get home. Please. Pretty please. Look, look, he's not going to cross this. He does his little 360 and turned around. I got him around the corner! Yes! Oh my god. I can't believe I actually had to go to that extent. I had to... Uh, touch wood. Touch wood that he's actually coming through. I had to kill the dodo. Bring the dodo's dead body down here. Put it to a point where he wouldn't follow me to. Let him charge the dead dodo body. And then he got past the part that he couldn't get out of. My god. You better not get stuck on another thing, mate. Get stuck on nothing, please. Otherwise, I guess I just need more dead dodo bodies. <laughs> There's plenty of dodos up there to go around. There he is. Okay. Oh, you've driven... Oh, it just fell through the ground. That was a dodo egg. That, it literally fell through the ground. I can't believe it's come to this. I cannot believe taming a dung beetle has come to this. Dragging a dead Dilo through the jungle to lure the little thing out of a cave. I've had enough, mate. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm going to crack soon. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So let's just hope that this works. I'm actually not going to get let go of this guy. I'm not going to let him get eaten, basically. All right. He wants it. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, he'll run for that, won't he? He'll run to kill the Dilo. Yeah, you want to eat this, don't you? He won't run that fast to follow me, though, will he? Nah. Nah, not if the life depended on it. Come on. Don't turn around. There's a Dilo right here, mate. There's a Dilo right here. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, no. He ate the whole thing. He ate the whole thing. We're not out of the, we're not out of the cave yet. Come on, mate. You're so close. You're so close. He's going to have a lot of stuff on him now, though, isn't he? Let's... Lift his weight a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Now, come on. Let's go. Come on. You're nearly there. You're so close. <sighs> Back at it again with the dead carcass. I'll tell him to stop following me, all right? I'll pick up a dead body. Oh, and sure enough, he'll find a way to get to that, won't he? You'll find a way to get to this dead body, won't you? Yep. Yep. Oh, he's got that scent. Oh, yeah. He's got that scent. He knows, he knows what he wants. And it ain't me. It's a freaking dead dodo. Come on, mate. Oh, yeah, look. You'll find your way around that rock this time, won't you? Won't you? Yeah, you'll find a way. You'll find a way. Because it's a dead body. And not your new master who just tamed you and saved you from this disgusting cave. 
Come on, you're so close. Oh, you'll find a way, though, because I've got a dead body dangling in front of your face. Oh, my God, he's out of there. He is out of there. Oh, you know what? Have your reward, mate. Have your reward. Have your reward. We're going home. That took so long to get him out of there. Oh, my God. He looks really cool. <laughs> I think we got a good team here. I think we definitely, I think we definitely tamed the right one. Because he looks like an absolute badass, man. He looks like an absolute badass. Look at him. He's all gold and yellowy. I reckon a whole day night, I think a whole day night cycle passed while we were inside of that cave just then. That's how long we were in that cave. That is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Oh, boy. Well... I'm going to leave him inside the base because I just don't want him to die. And he probably will die if he's anywhere else. But he's finally home. Oh, my God. I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe, we actually, can't believe we actually got him home. Did he have a bunch of spoiled meat? He did. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that and uh, might get a few little narcotics going to replace all that stuff we just wasted on the repellent. In fact, it's only going to give us about five, but that's still cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Um, you know what? Follow me. Follow me. Come over here, little fella. Or do I need to dangle another dead body in front of your face to get me to follow? Come on! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, stay right there. And have all of this poop. Poop's actually heavy. So it looks like... We can just leave three pieces on him like that. He's going to chew with it on him. And then eventually, he'll turn it into fertilizer. So each piece of medium-sized poop turns into two fertilizer. So it's pretty much the same as turning six pieces of poo into one fertilizer. Or, yeah, two fertilizers. So it's, it's the equivalent of six pieces normally. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to leave all of this poop up here. Because we have no need for it. We have no use for it. We don't need it. We don't need it whatsoever for now. All right. So I reckon to wrap up this video, there's one last thing I would like to do. And that is get a industrial grill going. I reckon that'd be really cool. Just to work on the whole base thing, get an industrial grill going. I think that'd be really cool. So 200 metal ingots. That is expensive. 30 crystal cementing paste oil. So it's just the metal and the crystal. I think that will be tough but um i'm pretty sure lachlan said he's actually got a whole bunch of uh metal over here he said the other day that he went for like a like a couple hundred metal runs so let's have a look if there's 200 just sitting around casually um yeah there is damn there's hundreds of the stuff here angler gel damn what is angler gel i don't even know what that stuff does that's kind of cool uh, let's grab the crystal we need crystal and I think we've got everything else. I think we've got everything else. I can't move. I'm too heavy. I'm too heavy. Of course we are. Okay. We have the metal. We have the crystal. All that we are missing is the... Do we have oil? Or did I spend it all? We've got 37 on us. Um, and we definitely have... A bunch of... Cementing paste. We got a lot of cementing paste. So let's take it oh into here. Right. With this little fella. Uh we won't be able to carry that. We won't be able to carry that. So we've got the oil, we've got the crystal, we've got the cementing paste, and we need three oil, three oil, and the metal. So, you have the metal. All we need is three oil. Well, I'm hoping there's some over at this other base. My fingers are crossed. My fingers are crossed so much right now. We've got this and we have oil, 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 oil. Where is it? We don't have any oil. We've got the fuel. Oh, there is oil. There is oil. Okay. Damn. There it is. Woo. Okay. Okay. Throw that in there. That in there. Structure's cooking. Turn it on. And... Craft it. Craft that item. There we go. There we go. 
Woo! Finally, man. Finally. We turn that off so it doesn't just use all of our fuel. And we should be able to place this down somewhere. So, where do we put it? Didn't think this one through, did I? We can put it into, I guess... Uh, doesn't really fit in one of those spots. All right, well, I guess instead of that, we'll go and throw it into one of these spots down here. So we've got the industrial grill here. I'm trying to think what else we need. Just a, a fridge. So we can go and put a couple more fridges, a couple fridges around this area. Now we just got to think about a staircase. I don't know how we're going to get a staircase going. I guess we don't really need to get up to another floor, do we? We can pretty much just leave it at this. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. So I'm going to go and place this down right here. Nice and centered. That looks pretty good to me. And there we have our industrial grill. So what this here can basically do, it's like a massive cooker. You just throw all of your meat into it, and then you cook it all at once. It's a massive time saver. Massive time saver. Enormous time saver. It's really, really good. So I reckon this is a good time to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.